Hello Year 3 and welcome to Week 1, Lesson 1 of Maths, where we will be measuring lengths. Our learning objectives will be to understand how to measure lengths at home, to recognise different units of measurement, to apply different units of measurement, to identify different measuring equipment, and to use our problem-solving skills to measure lengths. So each lesson we're going to start off with a daily starter. So you'll have four questions and you'll need to pause the video now, give them your best effort just to wake your brain up into that maths mood and then unpause when you're ready to check your answers. So take a moment now to do those four and pause the video. Okay, now you've unpaused, let's check the answers. Very good. Okay, now let's get on to measuring lengths and see what we're doing today. So first of all, I want you to pause the video and think about what these pieces of equipment are and when we might use them. Hmm, I see, I've actually got one here. I showed it at the beginning, the ruler. And I've got a meter stick as well, which you'll see is a bit longer. So think about different things that we can measure and when we might use them, and see if you know the names of the other two as well. Pause the video now and unpause when you're ready. Okay, did you get those? We had the ruler, we had the meter stick, but the other two were a tape measure and a trundle wheel. Now you might have tape measures at home, but I'm, you've probably seen less of trundle wheels. They're usually used when you're measuring the distance of something. So if you were in school now, one thing that would usually be a good thing to do is to measure the length of the playground. Now, we could measure the length of the playground in centimetres or millimetres with these rulers, but it'd be far quicker if we did it in metres. And with a trundle wheel, it, each time you go along a metre, it will click and you have to count the amount of clicks that it does from the, begin from the start of the distance to the end and then you'll know how long the playground is. That would have been an activity that we did. Note as well that we've got vocabulary at the bottom. So we've got ruler, centimetres, millimetres and length and these are bits of vocabulary that we'll need in this lesson. So now I'm going to ask you to pause the video again and attempt to answer which unit of measurement would you use to measure these real life objects? So we have a fingernail, an eraser or a rubber, pencil, the height of a house, length of a playground or length of a table. So what I want you to do is write down the names of those objects down the side. So first I would write fingernail and next to it I would identify which I would measure my fingernail in. Would I measure it in metres? No, because it's tiny. It's not going to be a metre long, is it? And let's have a look. This is one metre. No, my fingernail is a lot smaller than that. So I would probably use this ruler and even a centimetre, which if you look at that closely, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you've got yours at home too. You see a centimetre might be a bit too much for my fingernail. I would have to measure it in millimetres, which are these little lines in the middle here. We can see that one centimetre equals 10 millimetres. So I've put fingernail millimeter and that's the symbol for it there mm and then ruler because that's the thing that's the object that's the piece of equipment that i would measure it with so i want you to pause the video now write down eraser and work your way through those and put the unit of measurement and then put the piece of equipment that you would use to measure it with and then unpause when you're ready okay here are the answers we've got so we have fingernail, as we said, with ruler, an eraser, which is obviously quite small. It was probably about this big. So I would use a ruler again. You could use centimetres or millimetres. It's your choice. Pencil, again, that's quite small. We could probably use that with a ruler. And we have a look at how many centimetres long it is. A house, we need something a bit bigger for a house. A house is going to be a lot bigger than an eraser, a fingernail, or a pencil. So we would probably use this. We'd probably use our meter stick. And we're going to measure it in meters. 
With the playground, I already said that earlier actually, which is a bit of a clue, we can measure that in metres using the trundle wheel because that's quite useful to measure distances and how far away something is or how long it is. And finally, table. I've got this measuring stick on the, well this metre stick, on the table at the moment and I can see that it's going to be quicker to measure it with the metre stick than it would a ruler because it's bigger. Okay, let's move on. We're going to have a look at using a ruler start to start with and I want you to pause the screen and tell me how big those pencils are in the pictures. So it shows you there the first one it says uh, the first pencil is mm, centimetres and we can see there if I just use my cursor on the screen mm -mm -mm, there we go it's we can count along because it starts on zero it goes one, two, three, four, five. So we know that that pencil is five centimetres. So we would write in our books, the first pencil is five centimetres. And the second one, it doesn't start on zero. It starts on, I would say, about five there. So I want you to count along and pause when you think you've got the answer and then unpause and I'll reveal the answer to you. Okay, I hope you got somewhere close to that because it was a bit trickier. It wasn't um, five centimeters or seven centimeters. It wasn't exact because as you see here, it kind of stops halfway through between the 12 and the 13. So let's count from five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and it's not quite eight is it it goes halfway so it's seven centimeters and half of a centimeter is five millimeters five of those really little lines you'll notice on your ruler so the second pencil we would write is seven centimeters and five millimeters now i'm going to ask you to have a turn so we're going to look at this picture and as you see there are some worms on the table and a measuring tape down the bottom here it goes from zero all the way up to nine. And it starts, the worms start at different points on them, just like that second pencil in the last example. So first of all, I want you to tell me, how can we measure the worms on the table? What piece of equipment have we got on the picture that will help us measure it? And so I want you to write that there. And then the second part, I want you to tell me the lengths of the worms. So you might put worm A, which is this short one, and then put the amount of centimetres, and then worm B, which is this worm here, the longer one, and put the amount of centimetres there. Okay. Here are our answers. So, as we can see, we have the measuring tape we'll, we can use to measure the worms, and the lengths of the worms, we can see that this small one, if you count along, one, two, three, Four is this one, so four is our worm A, and worm B starts on two, and it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven centimetres. So that's what we should have got for that. Right, now it's your turn to have a go. We're going to have three different levels, and I'm going to show the questions for each. So varied fluency. Level one, which is the green chilli, there are four questions. I want you to pause the video now and try these if you want to do the green chilli level one. This is level two. It's with a yellow chilli. There are four questions again and it's kind of the middle level. So if you want to try these, pause the video now and then unpause when you're ready to check your answers. And finally, level three is the red chilli, the red hot level. And we've got four questions again, and I want you to pause the video now if you want to try this level. And unpause to see the answers. Okay, let's check our answers. Remember that you can rewind to check your answers against the questions. If you haven't quite got anything, got something right, then don't worry, just rewind 
and check to see where you might have gone wrong. Um, and well done for having a go. Next up, we have reasoning. First of all, just like the fluency, we're going to try one together. And remember that with reasoning, we have to explain our answer. So let's read it together. Jen has measured the paperclip. There it is there. She says, I think the paperclip is 30 centimetres long. OK, when I think of 30 centimetres, I think this ruler, it goes from zero centimetres to 30. So she thinks the paperclip is that long. So I'm thinking already about that. Let's look at it in the picture. We've got a measuring scale here. It goes zero, one, two, three. Hmm. OK, so I don't see 30 centimetres there at all. I can see three centimetres. In fact, what I can see as well, because of the little, little different lines, which are millimetres, she's probably counted all the small lines, which means that she's got up to 30. But they're certainly not 30 centimetres. That would be 30 millimetres. So how would I explain that? Let's have a look. I would say no. Jenny is not correct because the paper clip is three centimetres long. This is the same as 30 millimetres. And that would be my reasoning. So let's move on to see what you have to do. Level one is the green chilli of reasoning and there are four questions. Pause now if you want to give level one the green chilli questions a try and then unpause when you're ready to check your answers. Level two is the yellow chilli and we have four questions again. Pause now if you want to try the yellow chilli questions and then unpause when you're ready to see the answers. And level three is the red chilli. And again, we have four questions. Pause the video now if you want to try these. And when you're ready, we will check the answers again. OK, here are the answers for each of the chilli levels. Pause now to check them. And remember, you can rewind and go forward again just to check the questions against the answers. See which ones you got right. See which ones didn't quite go right. And these answers are there to help you. OK, our last part is problem solving. So level one with our green chilli. Michael needs these lengths put into order, starting with the smallest. Can you help him? I hope so. Um, so we've got four different distances here, or four different lengths, four different lengths, and we're going to have to put them in order. So we would put the smallest one first and work our way up to the biggest. OK. With the yellow chilli, it's the same kind of thing, except we've got different lengths this time. So I want you to put them in order, starting with the smallest and work your way up. Pause the video if you're going to try that one. And finally, level three, the red chilli pepper. We have uh, two questions for problem solving. And remember to have your reasoning at the end of those. So if you're going to try this, pause the video now. Let's check our answers. So for the green and the yellow chilli peppers of putting those numbers into order, starting with the smallest, here are the answers we've got. So check those, mark them, and then we will have a look at the red chilli, if you've had a go at those. And here are the answers we have for those problem solving questions. So check those and then refer back to what you've written in the book and make any changes if you need to. Finally, we have a summary. So I want you to answer me in your books. What are the three different units of measure we have used today? give you a clue, you probably can find two of them on your ruler that you've got. The second thing, I would use a mm to measure the length of the playground. I want you to write out that sentence in full and then write down the piece of equipment that you think would be best to measure the length of the playground in the gap there. And finally, here's an extra challenge to finish the day. Can you draw straight lines that measure three centimetres, four centimetres, and five centimetres in your book and then label how, my, how many centimetres each line is. OK, that brings us to the end of our first maths lesson of week one. Hope you've enjoyed it. 
and we'll move on with lesson two tomorrow.